grep the program is the one that experienced the error. I'm going to show you a couple examples of this because what if we cat foo.txt and we pipe it to grep Dave? Cat gave us an error. They both gave errors. Um, in fact, let me rerun this and let me show you something. Let me, after we get the error, let's echo the error code so we can see what the program exited with. We have an error code of two. Let's go ahead and run this cat example and let's get the error code from this pipeline. We have an error code of one. This is very, very interesting, okay? I'm gonna tell you why this is interesting. Because in this example, foo.txt didn't exist, we couldn't open it, so grep gave us an error, and it returned with the exit code too. Cat gave us an error saying that it couldn't open it, but we got an exit code of one. Notice that exit code is slightly different. That exit code came from grep, did not come from cat. Cat had an error, but we didn't care about that error. We looked at the exit code of grep. Very interesting, because in bash, the exit code, the dollar question mark, is always the thing at the end of the pipeline. 